Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. One of the things that we get asked about more and more these days is adjustable bases, which really transform how you can use your mattress. Um, so what we wanted to do here today is highlight for you an adjustable base that you can actually buy online. And in fact, is one of the highest rated adjustable bases on Amazon.com right now. Uh, so this, this base is called the Adjustable Comfort Base from a company called Classic Brands. And what we're gonna do today is kind of walk you through the features of this base and also show you a little bit about what it's like to set this thing up when it arrives via UPS. So this is a really feature-rich base. We're gonna walk through each of the features, but just at a very high level, this base is all controlled through a wireless remote, which for starters is a feature in itself because not all adjustable bases come with a wireless remote. Um, so what you can do with this base is of course you can elevate your head, you can elevate your feet, and you can do those two things separately. Um, you can also massage your head, massage your feet, or massage both. Um, and all of that is controlled through this remote. So I'm just gonna start by just showing you the elevated head position. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just take it all the way from flat where we were um, by just holding this up button all the way to as high as it goes. And this highest position is kind of the one that you'd probably use if you were like working in your bed. Um, let's say you were working on a laptop or something like that. So here we are. So this is, this is the position, you know, I'm working on my laptop or something like that. Um, that's, that's the max head elevation with no foot elevation. Now I'll take that back down. And by the way, the remote has several pre-programmed buttons, um, such as the zero gravity position, um, as well as a, a TV PC position and a lounge position but either any of those buttons can be reprogrammed very easily to anything that you want. Um, I'm gonna just show you the full range of motion for the feet now. So those are starting to elevate as you can see. Uh, my head is in the flat position at this point. And now the feet are in full elevated position. And now I'm gonna show you this an example of one of these pre-programmed buttons where, uh, well, first I'll, I'll press flat. That is a pre, that's a pre-programmed button in itself. Just takes me back to flat. And now I can press a button called zero G. And that takes me to a position where my, both my head and my feet are elevated um, to a certain degree. And this is meant to be a very pressure relieving position. So, but if I think that my perfect zero G is a little higher, I can elevate my head. Let's say this is what I prefer, or maybe I prefer my feet a little higher as well. I could say, all right, this is my, this is my zero G. And I just hold the zero G button down for three seconds. And now I have set that button to this new position. So it's a very flexible remote in terms of the different positions that you can achieve, as well as the positions that you can store in the remote so that you can easily access them uh, on a regular recurring basis. Now, another neat feature of this base is that you have a massage feature. There's two massage motors, one for the head and one for the feet, and they can be controlled independently and both actually have multiple speeds. So I'll start just to show you how you uh, start the head massage, which is right about here maybe, the motor. You can kind of feel it, but one of the things you notice on this is there's not much sound. The motor is very quiet. Um, there certainly is no uh, movement in the base, no rattling um, related to the motor or triggered by the motor. So it's all you're getting is just the massage just the vibration. Um, likewise, the foot massage, I can start that by pressing the foot button. Now I've got both going. And each of the massages has three different speeds. 
So I could cycle through those speeds with this little wavy button here in the middle where it can go down. This is now the lowest speed. I'm not sure if you can see this at all, um, but there's just a really pretty subtle massage feature going. And I can go to the middle one, steps it up a little bit, or the highest where this is, you know, it's kind of humming along here. So that's another nice feature to be able to kind of vary up those uh, those massage levels. And then the last thing related to massage is that there's also a timer. So you could set the timer to uh, for where the massage will go off after a certain period of time because the idea is that you might be using this feature and fall asleep while using it. So you don't want this necessarily going all night long. Now obviously right now I'm using this massage feature in the upright position but with both my head and feet elevated. However, you can use the massage feature in any position. It's completely independent of uh, the head and elevation functions. One other feature that I think a lot of people will find useful about this base is that they built two USB ports right into the side of the base. So for those of you who sleep with your uh, phone right next to your bed, you can reach down and just literally plug your phone in and it will just light up and start charging uh, right, from the, right from your bedside. So that's a super handy little feature to have. So some of you may be wondering uh, whether your mattress even works on an adjustable base. And that's actually kind of a separate question and it's totally independent of which base you choose. So this base, any mattress that does work on an adjustable base can work on this base. The question though of whether your mattress is going to work on an adjustable base has to do with your mattress. Um, and there are certain features of a mattress that make it more or less suitable to working with an adjustable base. Obviously the more flexibility it has throughout the entire mattress, uh, the better it will allow itself to conform to the base as the base bends. You may have noticed that this mattress poked up a little bit uh, on the end when we had it in the full zero G position. Um, that's totally normal um, and it just has to do with this particular mattress not quite uh, bending in that last little bit. But, um, but generally speaking, mattresses that have uh, all foam construction are going to almost always work pretty well on an adjustable base. Um, that includes latex foam. Um, mattresses with pocketed coils tend to work pretty well on an adjustable base. Um, one small thing that some people have experienced some trouble with um, is on some coil mattresses if you have uh, a foam perimeter for edge support you can experience some some bowing of that when you go into the um, uh, articulated positions so that's something to just keep in mind um, but uh, in general that still will work on an adjustable base um, better to have a reinforced level of coils serving as your um, edge support that works th th that's going to flex a little bit better which which a lot of higher end mattresses have um, what, what you do not want with working with an adjustable base is for example something called a border wire if if there's a mattress with a border wire serving as your edge support mechanism then what's going to happen with that type of mattress is you're going to bend it up and that border wire is not going to bend back down because it's not designed to uh, so <laughs> once you've bent up once you go back down and that border wire now is a bend in it so just you want to all in all you want to just make sure that your mattress is adjustable base compatible before you put it on an adjustable base obviously um, but suffice it to say a lot of mattresses these days are adjustable base compatible probably of of the mattresses that you find um, in the sort of eight hundred dollars price point and up i would say probably the general vast majority are probably adjustable base compatible to a greater or lesser degree. Another nice feature of this base is that it doesn't have to go into a piece of furniture, but it can. Um, so they've actually upholstered the side of this with a really nice looking um, gray kind of tweed almost a fabric. Um, and it's, it, it looks great. Uh, it's meant to be exposed and seen the way we were showing it here, um, but obviously it doesn't have to be. You can stick this whole thing inside. If you've got like the kind of bed frame that goes around on all, uh, all sides, for example, 
this can go directly, just drop right into it. And these uh, pedestals will still just sit on the floor and whatever furniture uh, you have will be seen here and your bed mattress will be above it just the same way this is above it now. Um, and then you would still see this when, you're in a, when your head is raised, for example, uh, but otherwise you maybe even would never know that there's an adjustable base under there. In terms of sizes, this base is available in just about every size. Queen and below are actually UPSable, so those will just get sent right to your doorstep. King is going to be not UPSable, so you'll have to check on what the delivery options are for that. Um, but essentially, uh, if you're sleeping with a partner, um, obviously this queen size uh, unit will operate both sides of the bed. Uh, and the king size unit will actually also operate with one unit, both sides of the bed. Um, that being said, some people prefer to have each side be able to go up separately. For that, if you wanted to replicate a king size bed with dual adjustable functionality, then what you would actually need is two twin XL mattresses as well as two twin XL adjustable bases. But really that's the only reason why you'd ever get two twin XL adjustable bases here because they do have a king size version that controls the whole mattress. So you don't, if you're gonna just put it on a single king size mattress, there's no reason to get two twin XL uh, adjustable bases. Now, another thing that people ask us about adjustable bases is their weight limit. So we just wanted to point out that this base has a weight limit of about 650 pounds in a queen size. Um, and that's going to include, that weight limit is going to include both the weight of the mattress as well as anyone sleeping on the mattress. Uh, so just for context, the average queen size mattress might weigh anywhere from say 50 to 100 pounds is kind of where most of them would fall. Uh, certainly some could be more than 100 pounds as well if they've got a lot of heavy materials like latex in them. Um, and then you're just going to want to add on top of that the weight of any sleepers to make sure that you don't exceed that 650 pound weight limit. One other small thing I want to point out just as an educational point is this bar here. It's called a retainer bar. You'll see this on virtually all uh, adjustable bases in one form or another, uh, but this is by far the most common form that they take. The purpose of this is just to hold the mattress in place as the base articulates, meaning as it goes up and down. Um, so it's a critical feature that all adjustable bases have to have in some form or another. Um, this one, I, as I said, is the most common form. Another form you might see is uh, bars on the corners, holding you know, one on each corner. Other people have tried to get more creative uh, where they even, have even created uh, mattresses that have Velcro on the bottom that can Velcro onto the base itself. Um, but uh, then in that case, your mattress and your base have to go together. This format here is much more uh, general. So this particular base can work with any uh, adjustable friendly mattress. Um, so, but that's what you're looking at with this. And you know, it, people wonder, does this make it hard to change your sheets? Well, yeah, it makes it a little bit harder, but, um, but not uh, the end of the world in any, by any stretch. So one of the things that might be intimidating for some people about buying an adjustable base online is the idea of assembling it yourself. So we're going to just show you a little bit about what's required here. And actually, it's not nearly as complex as you might think. Um, first of all, this is a base that ships via UPS. It kind of falls just under that weight limit uh, of 150 pounds. So it's, it's 149 pounds in a queen size. Uh, effectively, it comes folded. Uh, and by the way, this is the same base that we've been showing you in the rest of this video. Um, so this thing here folds in the middle and essentially the, the two middle legs each have little bolts under them here, 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 and here. And the, the base is shipped with an Allen wrench that you use to screw these bolts in. So the very first thing you're going to do when this thing comes is lay it out flat on the floor and unfold it upside down. And then you're gonna fasten on these two legs using the Allen wrench, these two middle legs. And now it's gonna, that's gonna hold it in that flat open position. The next thing you're gonna do is take these other legs and they, they literally just 
um, screw on right here. So you'll put all the, all the legs on and then you're gonna attach the motors. And the motors basically have little pins here that you can, that allow you to slide it in, put the pin in, and then put this little piece in that just holds it in place. So it's super easy. There's a front motor and a back motor. They're labeled very clearly. They don't actually uh, fit size-wise into each other. So it's, you can't put them in the wrong place. Um, and then each of them plugs in. This is the, obviously the head motor and it has a little head motor plug where you plug that in. Same thing with the foot motor. Um, then you're gonna sync your remote by just holding down this red button. Uh, this thing here is obviously gonna plug into the wall so that the whole uh, apparatus has power. <laughs> That's an important step, don't forget that. Um, and then uh, you're, you're more or less done. Now, once you've got this thing ready, to the extent you're lifting it into a piece of furniture, that's gonna definitely require more than one person. Uh, in fact, getting this to your bedroom is gonna require more than one person as, as it's almost 150 pounds. Um, so think about those things, but uh, once, you know, what the, the overall assembly process should only take you maybe 15, 20 minutes, um, provided that you just have, um, have someone to help you move it. So one other thing I want to explain about these legs is there's actually three height settings built into this base here. So if I unscrew this leg, that's one height setting. And in fact, that's the, that's the minimum height that it has to be elevated just to give clearance to the motor. But, uh, but you could actually st stick this on a platform um, if that's how your configuration is set up, just, just like this um, all, all, at, on all corners at this height. Or you could add about three inches with this here, or you could add the full, you know, six, seven inches that this provides. So it's totally up to you. And this is obviously, this full height is what you'd probably use if it's just gonna be a standalone thing, um, or if it's gonna be in a piece of furniture, but, but ultimately resting on the floor. So but either way, you've got three options height-wise so you're gonna be, um, you're gonna be okay no matter which one is the one that you need. So for those of you out there who just kind of like to understand the way things work, um, I'm just gonna point out, this is the actual head motor on this apparatus. And there's a, there's sort of a sibling version of it down here, the foot motor. Um, but that's, it's literally just a, a little motor that sits in here. They've obviously cut uh, a little bit out of the mesh to just allow it to sit right there, but there's nothing that's gonna be between your mattress and the motor. It's just, on the other side of this, it's just the motor and your mattress, basically. So that's how that works. In terms of the price of this unit, um, naturally prices go up and down with sales and what have you, but uh, the general price range that we've seen this in, in a queen size is somewhere in the sort of $615 to $750 range. So we hope you found this to be a helpful overview of this product. Uh, again, we've been hearing more and more from our users that adjustable bases are something that they're interested in. Uh, we were excited to show you this one because it is one of the highest rated bases on Amazon. And, uh, and we do think it's exciting that you can order it online. So we hope you found it to be interesting to see it in action. And, um, and for more information that on uh, mattress shopping in general, you can go to goodbed.com. And in the meantime, we hope you sleep well.